I listen to metal. I grew up with metal. I've done everything that I possibly could. That's why I feel like that it's time to see what the rest of the world has to offer in other genres as well. My name is Aaron, and I grew up as a metalhead. Well, 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 welcome back, everybody. Hope that you're excited. Um, I wanted to revisit IU, and I wanted to revisit the uh, Love Wins All, because this is a live clip, and that's been one of my favorite songs that I've ever had on the channel, so I wanted to hear it live, because we all know how good she is live. Can't say no. You can't. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's check it out. I wanted to go to this concert so bad, but she never got anywhere close to me.
Ooh, I don't know if I'll ever be able to hear that sound without just getting slightly emotional. <laughs> um, I've been thinking a little bit, the last little bit, about what I think is some of the, like, uh, been putting together a a small list of, like, what I think has been the best songs that I've heard on the channel since I started. And I think I definitely would have to put this one on there. I think this is actually legitimately one of the greatest K-pop songs out there. It's just got everything. I think that it's just so pretty. I think the way that the lyrics are written is very good. Um, she has an amazing voice. Her her imagery, I think, is another thing that is very, I feel like, not nearly talked about enough. Her The ability that she can use, and like I know that she has help with like her music videos and stuff like that and like other directors, but... It has to pass her. So, even if someone else, like, technically created it for her, I would still argue that it's still her imagery. For that reason. Um, I think that it just, uh, kind of just has a way of getting straight down to the heart in a lot of senses. Um... I don't know, maybe it affects me more because I'm single and think about this kind of stuff fairly somewhat regularly. But the melody, like I said, the melody itself I think is just like so perfectly written for that stuff. <laughs> it's, it's just, uh, you know, like, there's a lot of songs that we've heard on the channel that I think are emotional. But there's just something different about the emotions on this song. I... And to me personally, I, I like we had a one week club with IU, and out of everything that we've heard, this is probably my favorite song. And we've we've been through a lot, a pretty good chunk of her music. I shouldn't say a lot, but a pretty good chunk of it. And uh, yeah, I think that the this just really nails it. And again, you can tell that it's live too. You can kind of see. Um, and there's some different inflections that she has. And, you know, I know that a lot of times that, um, seeing it live is always generally like what people consider like the better choice, but I don't think that this song would have had the same impact had we not seen the music video before. Cause let's, let's be real. We know what this part is and it just hits a nerve. It just really hits a nerve. I do truly think that this is one of them, like, ones that I could say is a perfect, is a perfect, uh, song. I really do. So, <laughs> yeah, this live version is awesome, but I don't think that it would have been, it would have had the same impact if we didn't have the, uh, music video to rely on certain information. And, yeah, I, you know, honestly, again, I think she has one of the cooler voices, too. I think it's very much her I think that's one thing that I really like about IU is just the fact that IU is very much <laughs> such a um, unique personality, is such a unique way of perceiving and portraying things that, and her voice just has a whole different feel behind it all too. So, yeah, I don't know, really cool. I. I it really, it really is. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. We'll discuss this down in the comments below. Thank you. <laughs>